in this video we will improve the algorithm of quick reaction tutorial because see recently i faced an error in the application while reacting on messages so the bug is you know whenever you react on a particular message so it starts showing that same reaction on all the messages that you have sent or you have received and that's not a really good functionality because what we are here trying to achieve is we only want to show reaction on that particular message not on all the messages that we have sent or received so how can we solve that problem in this tutorial i will be showing you so you just have to watch the complete tutorial without skipping a single part of that tutorial okay i know that some of you may have seen this bug some of you may have not seen but the problem is it is happening so we need to improve the algorithm in order to make it more better in order to make it capable of handling large amount of users in the application so this is the reason that i'm making this tutorial and uh, if you want the source code of this complete playlist then you should click on join button and join the membership of my channel and after that you will be able to get all the codes that i provide in this that i used in this playlist fine so without wasting time let's start so guys very first of all you can see on the screen that this is our project chatted and i have uh, opened this message activity okay so here first of all you have to open the send btn code okay and uh, now you can see that uh, that code is inside the on create method fine so now you can see that we have this send btn dot set on click listener method so here exactly what we will do is we have to change the value that we are passing in delete child okay so guys last time we were passing delete current millis okay current millis value in delete child but that creates a problem because if you try to react on a particular message so it will show the reaction on all the messages and that's not really a good feature okay basically it's a bug okay minor bug so how can we solve it you can simply see that here you have to write this model dot set delete and pass this key here okay second thing you have to do is r model dot set delete make it key to fine and uh, then this is the code for send btn button okay now after that i will show you that you have to do the same changes in every place where we are storing messages okay and this time uh, when user will uh, fetch the messages so it will not create any problem the reaction will work fine second thing you have to open this preview image code okay because here we are also storing data in real time database so you have to do the same thing model dot set delete key control plus z okay and uh, same thing again r model dot set delete key to make sure you pass key and key to here okay and uh, then uh, i think this uh, there is only two place we are storing data and yeah also now you can see that here this time when user will make any change so it will store the value in real i mean correct child okay it will not misplace the child so that is why i'm doing that thing okay and uh, then uh, second thing you have to open the forward image uh, or uh, forward message method okay because here also we are storing the data same thing you have to do model dot set delete key and again r model dot set delete key to fine so it will improve the uh, reaction quick reaction on particular message fine guys so i hope you like this tutorial so please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching